Welcome back to our discussion of the play framework using Scala. Now that you understand how Ajax works, and we've seen some calls that use Ajax, we want to actually start working on the second version of our task list. Okay, so we have our task list 1 here, which was implemented in a very web 1.0 manner. Now I want to create a second version of this that uses Ajax. Now, the approach I'm going to take for the second version is I'm going to use jQuery and I am going to have our web app, the play part, respond using HTML and use load. You know, this, uh, this allows us to use view templates very similar to what uh, we have been doing. Um, it's not exactly how you'd probably write a lot of things today. We're going to take another step for our third version and, and use Ajax that, that communicates through JSON. Uh, but for this one, to take basically small steps at a time, we are going to, to respond using HTML. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's make a class, task list 2. And we need to copy over a bunch of the stuff that we brought from task list 1. Let's see, I don't need the forms. I am going to do the injection. Actually, I guess first we need to have our singleton here. And we need the injection and our extends so that this is actually a controller. I'm going to go back to using an abstract controller, not a message controller. That was something we introduced for the forms for internationalization. And that's probably enough for to start off with. OK. So what routes do we have for this? Uh, I'm going to make this a single page app. So I'm going to make one route just called load. And I'm going to call it load. Well, it, here it'll be load. In the routes, it'll be load2. And it will be an action that gives us back an OK of our original page. So we'll start off by just saying single page. Once again, take small steps. And in our routes, we go ahead and put a comment here. Routes for version 1. Now we're working on routes for version 2. We're going to have a git for load 1 that points to controllers task list 2 load. And at this point, we have enough that we can theoretically, oh, actually, I think that should say load 2. Let's go ahead and let's change that because this is version 2. There we go. And we got single page. Excellent. So what I want this to do is respond with a very basic HTML page. And I want that HTML page, it will be generated from our view. Play template in views let's go with version 2 SPA that's not a 2 that's a 1 version 2 SPA uh, to give us the the main page how about we actually go with version 2 main okay data that I'm passing in nothing I will need an implicit flash because our main template requires an implicit flash. And we will call main with the title of task list version 2. 
And then inside of here, I am just going to put a single div ID equals contents. OK. And I want to make it so that my template returns that. So views.html.version2 main. And I didn't pass it anything, though I do need an implicit request for the flash. Let's try refreshing. And we get this remarkably boring page. Uh, we could theoretically start with something here. Uh, we could make it so that when you first load this in, it has the login page. But I need to be able to switch in f uh, back and forth to the login page when they hit log out. And so, and we're not going to do that with a reload. We're going to do that with just an Ajax call. So to make that happen, I want to go ahead. We're going to make another JavaScript. So we have our basic stuff in here. Let's create under other a JavaScript source file. And let's call this version 2.js. Once again, my main is including jQuery, so I can utilize that. And if you try to do jQuery stuff without that, it won't work very well. Um, I'm actually going to do, let's see. Sure. So what I'm going to do to start with is say, let's get the contents, make sure I made that plural, I did, and then load, and the path I am going to pass in is slash login to. Now remember what this does in, in the Ajax call using jQuery, load is going to replace the internal contents of whatever is here, this jQuery object. So in this case, it's going to replace the internal stuff, which starts off as nothing, with the results of making this call. And now, so we need that call to respond with something. So we come back here, and I'm going to have a route for login. It gives us an action. And what I'm going to put here is actually going to look a lot like what we did before with some minor differences. Views.html. Let's call this login2. I don't need to pass anything to that. I want a route that comes here. So a get login to because that's what we're pulling down here and it will go to controllers dot task list to dot login that's there's our control okay in order for this to work there's one more thing that we need we need a login to under our views and this is where things are going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to make a play template again. I'm going to call it login2. Uh, I don't, didn't pass any parameters to it. I don't need any. Notice I didn't put the implicit flash here. There's a reason for that. I'm also not going to say at main because this is not generating an entire web page. This is only generating the stuff that I want to put inside of content. So this isn't a full page with a head and a body. It's, that is already being generated here. All it is is the contents of this one div. To save myself a little bit of time, I am going to, mm, yeah, I'll go ahead and, you know, except I don't actually want a, a post. I guess I can just do this here. Uh, let's say username colon button
break. I uh, guess I should have a text field here. Input type equals text. We'll come back and we'll we'll refine this. Mm, no value to start with. Password has an input type equals password and put another line break there. Okay, I just want to get enough in place that we can see this work. So let's go ahead, let's run this, does the recompile. Ah, I'm missing one thing. We never called the, we have version 2.js, but we're never calling it our primary page down here needs to include a script whose source is equal to, actually, let's go to index, because we already have a line that will do basically this, copy, paste, and instead of basic stuff, we called this version 2. It worries me. Nope, nope. There it is. Okay. Let's try refreshing again. And there we go. Eh, that's not much of a button, uh, but it's clickable. Okay. So what exactly happened here? Uh, it's, it's worth understanding the flow before we finish off this video. So as with everything that we have done, when I type in a URL, it goes to the routes file. And the URL that I loaded, remember here, was just load2, okay? So load2 says that it's going to pull up the load method in task2. So task list2, it goes to the load method, which pulls up version2 main. So it responds with this web page. This web page has no, nothing of significance inside of it. It has the, the main stuff that we put everywhere, the, the head with jQuery and Bootstrap and whatnot. Uh, but inside of the body, it only has this one div and a script, and that's it. Okay, so as we saw earlier, if you were to just load this page as it is, it wouldn't show you anything. But as soon as this loads and it runs this script, the script calls load on the contents and brings in the result of this route slash login to. Well, that's an Ajax call to this route. What it does is it calls the login on task list two, which goes to this other view that note isn't a full page. It's just part of the contents and that's what shows up. Okay, so we'll come back in the next video. We'll add some more meat to this, uh, make it so that the button looks better and we can click it and we can actually log in uh, and have a little bit of functionality to this version of our task list.